Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel Creative Grandma. It's Stitch of the Week time and this week's stitch is called the Carpet Bag Stitch. It's a beautiful shell styled lacy pattern, wonderful for afghans, maybe a lightweight poncho or sweater, maybe even a baby blanket. So let me show you the three samples that I have for you today. Now this stitch pattern is a multiple of five plus six. So you would chain five, chain five again, keep chaining in multiples of five, and then add six more chains. So the first sample I have to show you, this is the front, and when you turn it over, this is the back. This sample was made using the Red Heart Super Saver stripes. Now I didn't get through all the colors, but you can see how beautiful these colorways are. Now all my samples today were made with a size four medium weight yarn and a size I-9 or 5.5 millimeter hook. And you can just look on the yarn label for the recommended hook size of what hook size you should use with the yarn that you choose. So this is color Retro Stripes, very pretty with that yellow, pink, blue, and green. So that is my first sample. My second sample I made using plain white and I love making that bright white sample because I love it for ideas for wedding afghans if someone's getting married starting out in a new home. It's the perfect way to make a wedding gift so this is what that stitch pattern looks like in white. A little harder to see because my table's white so that's the front and this is the back. And for sample number two, I used the Premier Basics. Again, this is a four worsted weight yarn, and I just used the color white. And again, I used the same hook size of a size I9 or 5.5 millimeter. The last stitch sample I made, you can really see this design in this one. This is really bright, but you can see how beautiful and lacy. Now this yarn was just a touch thinner than that Premier Basic. The Basic was a little puffier and had a fuller look. This is a little thinner, so you're going to see a little bit more open work on that. So this is the front. So again, it looks the same on both sides. And this sample was made using Red Heart Super Saver. This is a jumbo skein in the color Mexicana. So just a bright, fun color. And if you have a little one and they love bright colors, isn't that pretty? And that is sample number three. For today's crochet tutorial, I'm just going to use some more of that Super Saver Stripes in the color Retro Stripes because it's going to show up really pretty on my white background. And I'm using a size I-9 crochet hook. So grab your yarn and on your yarn label of whatever yarn you're going to use, it shows a recommended hook size. So grab the recommended hook size along with your yarn and let's get this pattern stitch started. I already attached my yarn to my hook and I just used a double knot. You can use whichever method you prefer to join your yarn to your hook. Now this stitch pattern is a multiple of 5 plus 6, so we're going to take the multiple of 5 times 4 and we're going to chain 20 and then add 6 more chains for a total of 26 chains. You're going to yarn over the hook, pull it through the loop, this creates your first chain. The loop on your hook does not count as a chain. That's one, two, three, four, five. Continue until you have 26 chains, and I'll be back and we'll start row one. I have my 26 chains made, and now we're ready to begin row one. So now we're ready to begin row one. And for row one, we're going to start right off and we're going to be double crocheting two together. And I'll walk you step by step through how to do that. We're going to skip the first five chains. One, two, three, four, and five. And into the sixth chain, we're going to double crochet two together. You're going to yarn over your hook insert into that six chain, yarn over and pull back through. You have three loops on your hook, 
yarn over and pull through two loops only. Now this is your first double crochet and you're leaving the last loop on your hook and you're not finishing the stitch. And we're going to do that one more time. You're going to yarn over, insert back into that same chain, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your second double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook and you did not finish the stitch. So now we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Your double crochet two together is made. Now the five skip chains that you skipped will count as the beginning double crochet plus a chain two. So now we're going to go ahead and start the repeat and for this repeat we're working double crochet two together. We're going to skip the next four chains, one, two, three, four. Into the fifth chain we're going to double crochet two together. Yarn over the hook, insert into that fifth chain, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have two loops on your hook and they're going to remain on your hook. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have three loops, you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Your double crochet two together is made. You're going to chain two, one, two, and now into the same chain we're going to work two double crochet together, a chain two, and two double crochet together back into that same chain. Let's begin. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have two loops on your hook and they remain on your hook. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Your double crochet two together is made. You're going to chain two and now we're going to double crochet two together back into that same chain. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have two loops on your hook and they remain on your hook. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Your double crochet two together is made. So when you look at your work you're going to see you have the double crochet two together, a chain two, double crochet two together, chain two, and double crochet two together all into that same chain. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do the repeat again. You're going to yarn over the hook, skip the next four chains, one, two, three, four, into that fifth chain, insert your hook, yarn over, and pull back through. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have two loops on your hook and they remain on your hook. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Your double crochet two together is made. You're going to chain two, one, two, and now we're going to work our double crochet two together, a chain two, and double crochet two together back into that same chain. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have two loops on the hook and they remain on the hook. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops, 
yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Your double crochet two together is made. You're going to chain two. Now we're going to double crochet two together back into that same chain. Yarn over, insert back into that chain, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops only. You have two loops and they remain on your hook. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do the repeat again. You're going to skip the next four chains one, two, three, four, and into that fifth chain, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the fifth chain, yarn over, and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over, and pull through two loops only. You have two loops on your hook, and they remain on your hook. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain, yarn over, and pull through. You have four loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through two loops only. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. You just double crochet two together. You're going to chain two. One, two. Now we're going to work a double crochet two together, a chain two, and double crochet two together back into that same chain. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have two loops on the hook and they remain on the hook. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. You double crochet two together. You're going to chain two. back into the same chain, we're going to double crochet two together. Yarn over, insert back into that chain, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have two loops on your hook and they remain on your hook. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have three loops, Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Your double crochet two together is made and that is the end of the repeat. So as you look at your work, you can see how the repeat is forming. So if you're working on a wider project, then you would just continue working the repeat across until you get to the last five chains. One, two, three, four, five. So go ahead and continue if you're working on a wider project and I'll meet you when you get to your last five chains. So now since we're over to the last five chains, we're going to go ahead and end the row. We're going to skip the next four chains. One, two, three, four. And in the very last chain, we're going to double crochet two together. Yarn over, insert into that very last chain yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have two loops on your hook and they remain on your hook. You're going to yarn over, insert back into that same last chain, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops, yarn over, pull through two loops only. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. You're going to chain two, one, two, and then we're going to end the row with one double crochet into that last chain. Yarn over, insert into the last chain, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over, pull through two loops only, yarn over and pull through two loops. Row one is finished and this is what your work should look like. So now we're ready to begin row two. For row two, you're going to chain one 
and you're going to turn your work. You're going to skip the beginning chain one and insert right into the top of that first double crochet going under the top two loops. Work a single crochet. Now we're ready to begin our repeat. You're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. So for this row, we're working into the top of the center two double crochet cluster of each of those three clusters across. So we're going to begin the repeat by skipping the first two double crochet two together. So we're skipping this first stitch, we're skipping the second double crochet two together and we're going over to the third double crochet two together and we're going to insert under the top two loops and you're going to work a single crochet. And when you look at your work you're going to notice it's the center double crochet two together right into that three stitch cluster. So you're working into the center one. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it again. You're going to chain four, one, two, three, four. You're going to skip the next two double crochet two together. So you're skipping this one. You're skipping the next one. And then you're going over to the next double crochet two together, which is the center cluster here in the three cluster group and you're going to insert under the top two loops, work a single crochet. And again, when you look at your work, you're going to notice you chain four and you're single crocheting into the center cluster of those three in that group. Chain four and then single crochet into the center cluster of that three cluster group. Let's do the repeat again. Chain four, You're going to skip the next double crochet two together, skip the next double crochet two together, and into that third double crochet two together, you're going to insert right under the top two loops of that center cluster of that three cluster group, work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. And if you're working on a wider project, then you're just going to repeat the chain four and then single crochet in the top of that center double crochet two together of that three group set. Chain four and then single crochet in the top of that center double crochet two together. And you're going to work that across to the last full cluster of three. So when you get to the end of the row, you're going to have two of the two double crochet together remaining. So we're going to end the row by chaining four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to come over to our ending turning chain. And we're going to go into the third chain of this ending chain five. So you're going to go over to that last cluster and then skip the next two chains and then into the third chain of the five chain turning chain, insert your hook, work a single crochet. And row two is finished. Now we're ready to begin row three. To begin row three, we're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. This beginning chain five counts as a double crochet plus a chain two. You're going to turn your work. Now in row one, I showed in detail how to do the double crochet two together. So I'm just going to work the stitch and not talk you step by step through it. So you should know by now how to do that. So into this very first single crochet, we're going to work a double crochet two together. So yarn over, insert under the top two loops of that first single crochet and work a double crochet two together. Now we're going to start our repeat. And our repeat, we're going to be working in each single crochet stitch across. 
So let's begin the repeat. We're going to double crochet two together into the next single crochet stitch. So you're skipping the chain four, you're going to yarn over, insert into that next single crochet stitch, work a double crochet two together. You're going to chain two, and then we're going to work our double crochet two together, a chain two, and another double crochet two together all into that same single crochet stitch. Yarn over, insert into that same stitch, work a double crochet two together. Chain two, and then back into that same single crochet stitch, work a double crochet two together. And that is the end of the repeat. And you're just working it right on top of the center double crochet two together, two rows below. So you can see how it is a stacking pattern. So let's do the repeat again. You're going to skip that next chain four space and into that next single crochet, you're going to yarn over, insert under the top two loops of that single crochet, work a double crochet two together. You're going to chain two back into that same single crochet, work a double crochet, two together. Chain two, and then back into the same single crochet stitch, work a double crochet, two together. And that is the end of the repeat. And again, as you're looking at your work, you can see how the three clusters are right in the center of the three clusters below. So we have one more repeat, so let's do it together. You're going to skip the next four chains and into that next single crochet, you're going to work a double crochet, two together. chain two, yarn over, insert back into that same single crochet and work a double crochet two together. And if you need additional help on how to do this stitch, just refer back to row one. You're going to chain two and then back into that same single crochet work a double crochet two together. And that is the end of the repeat. So again, if you're working on a wider project, you're going to skip the next four chains and then work a double crochet two together, chain two, double crochet two together, chain two, and double crochet two together into that next single crochet stitch. You're going to repeat that until you get to the last chain four space of your row. So to end the row, we're going to skip the next four chains and into the last single crochet stitch of the row, we're going to work a double crochet two together. You're going to chain two and then work one double crochet into that same ending single crochet. And row three is finished and this is what your work should look like. So to continue working on your sample swatch, you're going to repeat row two and row three 
over and over. It's a two row repeat until you get comfortable doing the stitch or until you get to the length you want. So this is my sample worked up where we're repeating row two and three, two and three. And when you end, end with row two where you have that chain going across for a straight edge. And then that way it matches the bottom with the chain four space. So that is how easy it is to do the carpet bag stitch. Isn't that pretty? Now I want to remind everyone all my Stitch of the Week patterns are free. You can go to creativegrandma.net, hit the Stitch of the Week banner at the top of the page, scroll down to the stitch you want, click on the stitch you want, and you can download it right to your computer or print it out. And I always tell everybody, get yourself a binder, print them all out, have your own little stitch library. So when you're looking for a pattern stitch for your next project, it's right at your fingertips. So thanks again, everybody, for stopping by and spending some time with me. So until next time, happy crocheting, everyone.